Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I am going to cover a one of the important topic of IBM AS. And if you are giving a, any IIB interview, then this is the first question interviewer asks to you in the IIB. So this topic is going to be very important if anyone is giving the interview and actively participating in interview. And it is in general it is helpful if you are, are working on the IIB earlier have worked on the IIB version 10 and now working on the IIB version 12. So in this lecture we are going to see what is the what is the changes happen in the IIB version 12 and what was earlier present in IIB version 10. So what new thing has been introduced in the IIB version 12. Mainly after the if you are giving any interview the first question interviewer asks like that Tell me something about yourself. After that, the first question, second question they used to ask, what new you, what new you have uh, observed in the uh, S12 or why S12 has been introduced? If earlier we have a IIB version 10, then what is the requirement of S version 12? This is the one of the important questions and lots of people are getting confused about this. So I am going to cover this in detail. So let's start. This is a small diagram. This is going to explain you in very detail. Here this part is for IIB version 10 and this part is for the IIB version 12. 11 and 12 you can include any both because the here it is written 11 but you can 11 plus. It is from 11 the concept are equal. From 10 it was something different. From 11 it was something different. Okay. Till version 10 it was designed in such a manner we can deploy our message flow our solution to the on premise system what let me something give you detail about the what is the data center if you if you don't know what is data center data center is a place where the ser where the server basically runs you know you basically running on the linux some command and you are doing some work but behind that, every, for hardware that is running, that is something running in some data center. So data center is a very important thing. If you are working on any system, any server, anything, physical servers runs on a data server and we basically run the command on the virtual server. So the earlier, there are three types of data center currently it is. First is the either a physical data center where you have its own data center this is totally operated by you second type of data center that is the cloud data center in cloud there is two type of data center that is the private cloud and the public cloud public cloud are the example is like that google cloud gcp aws and azure these all are the public cloud and there are some private private cloud let's take example i have a cloud system and i make i want to make it a private so so that this can be a private cloud and the third will be a hybrid hybrid means i want to deploy some server into our on premise and i want to deploy some uh, into the cloud that is three type of currently the data center we are working on first is private Private data center that is directly owned by me that is totally it is my data center. Second is the cloud data center where where in cloud it is also two type data center that is the private clouds and the public cloud. Public cloud that is uh, it, it is open to public and the private cloud it is, it is uh, given a part of uh, clouds is given to totally you and uh, no one is going to touch that cloud area uh, data center. And the third is the hybrid that is the popular one that we are nowadays people are uh, uh, acquiring the hybrid uh, culture of the data center. Basically some curiosity information they basically prefer to deploy into the private data center and some uh, not curiosity information they used to deploy into the um, cloud data center that is the public data center. Okay. So till the version 10 we used to deploy the solution into our private data center that is the own data center we used to deploy it okay from version 11 and after onward what we are doing we have the option to deploy it into the cloud or we can deploy into the on-premise 
on promise means on on premise means it is my data center cloud means it is cloud data center any any other data center so you know it slowly slowly data uh, slowly uh, the cloud system is coming uh, uh, cloud is emerge, emerging currently in the market scenario and cloud is becoming the popular nowadays so ibm has thought to introduce the cloud system so to remain in the market so they introduced the cloud for from version 11 and 12 we can now deploy our solution deploy our message flow to the cloud or promise it is depend on your infrastructure structure what your company is following but it is open to you you can deploy either into a container in the docker system or whether you can deploy into your uh, physical uh, on, on premise uh, data center now apart from that lots of uh, thing has been introduced uh, uh, lots of uh, smart connector discovery nodes has been introduced and earlier till the version uh, 10 there was some new concept not in terms like that policy was uh, not popular and the uh, vault concept is not popular what was the uh, actually earlier in the iib version 10 whatever the configurable configurable services uh, present in the iib version 10 we it has been replaced by the policy while we are creating let me go to the message flow uh, while we are creating the any message flow earlier we used to create the message flow and later using the command prompt or the server we used to deploy we used to create the configurable services now what we are doing we are creating the policy during the message flow and we are referring this policy to the message flow we do not need to express exclusive we don't create the configurable configurable services so that is the benefit of uh, one of the benefit of uh, is now if you see the some these are the connectors earlier that much of connector was not there now from the version is 11 onward lots of connector has been introduced like that you can see the aws if you want to connect to aws you can use this aws connectors if you want to connect like that confluence and if you want to connect google then you can use these google connectors if you want to connect with the IBM cloud, you can use can IBM connector. If you want to connect Azure, Microsoft, then you can connect. So if, if you want to connect the Salesforce, then you can have option. Lots of options has been introduced to connect to Google, uh, you know, you connect to the cloud system directly. So, and apart from that, we have the options. If you see here, integration server and integration node what we used to do earlier we used to create an integration node and we can use to uh, under that we used to create the integration server and we used to deploy the message flow inside the integration server now we have an option we can directly deploy our solution to the integration server and this is mainly preferred in the this 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 is preferred in the cloud system this, where we are we are directly deploying our solution to the integration server we are directly deploying to the solution to the our server so if you are saying someone where when we are using integration node we use integration node uh, we can use integration node in the cloud system that's not a problem but mainly we if you want to de deploy something in container then we used to create a server directly server and we used to deploy that server into the uh, container but if you want to de uh, deploy into inside the integration net that again you need to create the integration node under that you need to create the integration server and after that you can deploy the application inside that okay now that is a small overview of the iv version 10 and 12 if if i in simple i say i say to you in summary iv version 10 Till that no cloud concept was there from iv version 11 and 12 cloud con concept has been introduced and now we we have option to deploy our solution to our cloud or on promise it is up to us okay this is all a brief intro of the iv version 10 versus iv version 11 or 12 you can say that Hope you have enjoyed the session. Again, if you have any doubt, you can contact me over the mail learnerpassable.gmail.com and you can also follow me over Instagram. 
थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच वील मीट अगेन सुन थैंक यू ऑल